Hello everybody and welcome back to a new episode. Today I have the Mercedes S-Class 6th generation or the W222, which, well, it looks insanely good. Even today in 2024, this actually looks like it just came out of the factory doors. So today I got this car from my friends at Carset. I wanted to drive one of these for a long time. By the way, this was replaced by the 7th generation in 2020. 20. So this car made it all the way up till 2020, but it got a facelift near 2018. So um, it was refreshed a bit, but even this one, you can notice that it looks quite good even today. Right now, I'm going to start talking about the front end of the car because I want to make this as short as possible. So front end, you have a cool grill, which signifies the Mercedes luxuriousness. The emblem right over here, well, this is something that I truly like because while you're driving this car you can see this and it gives you kind of an important feel if i can say like that so right here headlights led technology they sparkle up your night and turns it into a day which is quite helpful we don't have any fog lights because well mercedes decided that you don't need any fog lights while you're having the led headlights right here we do have some aluminium trim that gives the car an elegant stance but the front end design of the car is very elegant it strikes luxuriousness and i have to mention that it's very imposing and honestly i do like this front end of this car but you noticed something i'm sure you did this is the se version it's not the amg pack version because well this is more like a standard mercedes s-class and elegant one not an aggressive one even though this is the long version it misses a couple of features it has a lot of features but it misses a couple of important features and i'm gonna mention to you today the car that i have here today was offered by my friends at carzet carzet are a specialized second-hand car dealership located in ipswich all the cars come with six months rac warranty which is extendable up to three years if you have a part exchange card they can help you with that as well if you want finance carzet can provide finance they were awarded by auto trader for their excellent customer service and of course they have a cool inventory of cars so check them out at carzet.co.uk engine wise this car has well a three liter diesel engine and this is quite a symphony you can barely hear this engine and it's well it was brilliantly designed this one has a low fuel consumption goes from 0 to 60 in 6.5 seconds has 255 horsepower nine speed automatic gearbox the 9 gtronic and 600 newton meters and of course it pulls very well i do have to mention that this engine is quite quite silent literally it's a brilliant three liter diesel engine which blends into this harmonious body of this car and I do really like how this engine purrs. You can barely hear it. And when you need it, it's right here to take you anywhere you would like to go. I'm walking down the street with my, not Nikes, because I don't have Nikes today, but uh, I'm actually walking around this car and I simply noticed how big it is. And I'm sure that you noticed too, because this is the long wheelbase of the Mercedes S-Class, which uh, this one is with five inches longer than the short wheel base and yep it is a big car and uh, bigger is better right well probably but i want to talk about the elephant in the room the wheels now these are not the most beautiful wheels that mercedes created don't get me wrong they are not ugly but being 18 inch wheels uh, somehow takes away from the elegance of the car i mean even though it looks elegant i would have rather had like 19 inch wheels on it at least 19 inch wheels because this is a big car but these 18 inch wheels make the car very very comfortable it's like you are driving on clouds literally even though <laughs> they are not my favorites but i do have to mention the fact that these are making the car more comfortable than uh, if you would have had bigger wheels so let's let's get back here in the mirrors these are electrically retractable mirrors heated blah 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 you have the led turn signal integrated into them this one doesn't have blind spot assistance it kind of misses some features but i'm gonna chat about them uh, when we are on the interior of the car so uh mirrors big you have chrome finish surrounding the whole car front end side and even rear end to emphasize the luxuriousness that this car 
offers because it offers luxuriousness like no other. So the rear door, you can actually see how big this is. Being the long wheelbase means that you have a lot of room if you're a passenger in this car. Honestly, I think most people who buy long version of this car are passengers, but I didn't mind driving it. I mean, it's quite a quite a good experience driving this car and it doesn't matter if you have the long wheel based version or the short wheel based version this is a cool car to have one thing that i like is the noise when you close the door feels quality top quality top mercedes-benz quality so yes from the side i do like how this vehicle looks as quite quite an enormous five-door sedan the rear end of the car stands out with the LED tail lights, which they have a cool pattern. They do look pretty cool even on daytime, but on the nighttime, when they light up, they offer a very cool show. Right here, we have the S350D, because this car is the three liter diesel engine, but you don't have the L badge anywhere. And uh, this one is undercover. But anyways, you're gonna notice it because it's very long. The rear bumper is very elegant. You have the parking sensors integrated into it and you have this chrome line that are surrounding the car on the side. Right here we do have a chrome finish to emphasize the luxuriousness again, the Mercedes badge and you have a rear view camera. The rear bumper is very elegant. You don't have exhausts but I don't mind that because this is very elegant and honestly just look how cool the rear end looks. I do like how the whole rear end of this car was arranged. You have a very cool and very interesting rear windscreen which looks quite cool. It gives the car a resemblance with the old version of the S-Class Coupe, which is quite, quite interesting. It has something from the Mercedes CL. Of course, that one, I'm talking about the S-Class Coupe, the Mercedes CL from 2007 forward. So regarding rear end, you can notice how cool it looks. It's very elegant. It's very big. You have a very huge trunk, which I'm going to talk about right now. The boot size of this car is quite impressive. You have 500 liters of cargo space and just look how long and deep this is. You can fit almost anything in here. So makes this car very, very practical. Right. So let's have a chat regarding the interior of the car. Highest quality materials possible. You have leather everywhere. Leather on the dash, leather on the seats, leather on the door side. And when I say everything is wrapped in leather, everything is wrapped in leather and it feels insanely expensive in here. Uh, I don't have to mention how good this wood trim looks, these aluminum vents, and they are very neat to, um, direct the air i do i do like them down here we have the climate controls and it's quite quite good looking this climate control area is very elegant i do like this clock over here it gives the car a very elegant stylish look and also the dashboard being covered in leather it's quite exquisite what i want to mention is that these climate controls you can see them right here so you press these buttons which they are very pleasant to touch and you have all the information about the climate controls right here which is quite good anyways down here you do have a power socket and here you have a place to store some things down here you have two decent cup holders but you can make the cup holders go away if you press this and also you can press here and this pops out which is quite quite cool and also when you want your cup holders again look at that yeah very very elegant anyways the dashboard is very elegant i do like how it looks i do like this wooden trim and these aluminium air vents from here you can control the amount of air that is blown through the air vents if you put it in one side they're gonna close but if you turn it like this they're gonna pop open so i do like how this interior is equipped from here you can control I do like this aluminium cover over here. It gives the car a very, very elegant style. I add from here, you have the lift off. Well, you're not gonna take off, but this car actually lifts itself. It has air suspension. From here, you can adjust the sport and comfort mode as well. From here, you have sport or economic or standard. 
From here you can adjust the seats, the sat nav, the radio, media, telephone and vehicle. Now I want to have a chat about the infotainment system of this car because you have a huge screen here. This one is not a touch screen, which is a shame, but I do have to mention it looks quite cool. It's very well designed and it has quite a cool look. Right here in the vehicle settings, if we enter right here, we do have the Mercedes S-Class and uh, this is quite cool. You have easy entry, ambient lights, and you can notice that the ambient lights are all the way even surrounding this area, which I find it quite cool you have a couple of lights to choose from and of course you can choose where the ambient light is shown from here you can control the amount of light from the ambient lights and here you have the colors they do look quite cool i don't know why everyone prefers this bluish color but i think it's the most comfortable one to drive with. Anyways, let's get back. We have interior motion sensor, tow away protection, exterior lighting delay shut off, and uh, here you can choose how many seconds the car keeps the lights on after you get out of it. A little bit back, we go into interior lighting delayed, shut off automatic locking feature, locator illumination. This is exactly as you see it. This car, when you open it, the lights are gonna open as well so this is the vehicle settings of this car you also have dab radio you have bluetooth media you don't have apple carplay or android auto but you can adapt these things to the car we can go into consumption we can go into the seat settings we have vehicle settings and i was in that in the seat settings you can adjust the lumbar support but also you can adjust where the passenger and the uh, driver adjust the seat where to warm up which is quite an interesting feature anyways this car has these features and i do like it it's quite elegant it looks quite good and i do like this infotainment system of this car so let's discuss a bit of There's nothing cheap, there's nothing that actually bothers me, which this is a new thing to me because I kind of find faults uh, with cars. But there's nothing here, no squeaky plastic, nothing cheap, no cheap plastic. And um, it's quite a cool experience of being here. You feel very isolated from the outside world. The sound and isolation of this car is brilliant. You don't hear anything. This one doesn't have double glazed windows and even like that, is very very quiet in here the engine you can barely barely hear it uh, sometimes i do feel like this is kind of like an electric car no tire noises so what more can you ask from a luxury sedan well there are plenty of stuff you can ask you can ask for head-up display you can have for massaging seats you can have uh, cooled seats you can ask uh, for uh, what else well 360 degrees camera uh, adaptive cruise control if i didn't mention that 
in the night vision options that this car doesn't have but there are certain s classes that do have those options and yet yeah, panoramic sunroof which this uh is something that i like i don't use uh on any of my cars which i had with panoramic sunroof but um it's a cool feature to have everything in this car is brilliant the seats are well one of the most comfortable seats i ever sat in they are very soft the leather is quite brilliant this is actually real leather and you can feel that the seats adjust in a lot of ways so you can control the seats from here of course everything is electrically adjustable every element in this car is brilliant i i cannot find faults with it honestly i do like this car it's very elegant very stylish and uh it's quite quite a nice place being here hello oh it's good to be here as you can notice the seat is adjusted as i sit as i actually drove this car in exactly that position and you can actually see how big it is quite impressive honestly i'm quite impressed by how spacious this car is of course you have heated seats for the rear passengers which is kind of neat you don't have climate controls here this one only has dual climate controls you don't have rear climate controls for the passengers but you do have these two cool air vents which they have this beautiful aluminium design and this is something that i like down here you do have two power sockets um these are old school you don't have usb here but well i think you can pass that in the armrest you have two cup holders which you can adjust them like this it's quite easy to place anything here but they feel a bit flimsy i don't know why uh they i think they could have done a better job here um if i didn't complain in the front seats i can complain here in the rear seats about these cup holders nevertheless they are here but they could have made a little bit a bigger improvement on this one nevertheless let's go back here we have some storage compartment and usually back here you do have a fridge right here you have a mirror so you can actually look at yourself which well this is ironic because <laughs> i do like spending some time in the mirror sometimes not all the times because well it is what it is here we have some pockets to store probably some documents you do have some storage in the door side um, as in the front seats here everything is wrapped in leather you have side air vents to give you a more air to breathe which is cool but well nothing really special in the rear seats you do have the ambient lights which are hidden right over here on the door side and they surround the car and i do like that driving this car at nighttime is a beautiful feeling it's something that i cannot even mention uh without having a smile on my face this is brilliant to drive at nighttime you have quite a unique feeling even if you are chauffeured around in this car still beautiful feeling anyways these are the rear seats and uh well nothing much here time to drive the s-class seat belt on oh my god these seats are very very comfortable yep let's go so what you notice literally you notice how quiet it is this car is very very well isolated and when you have it on comfort mode honestly it's very comfortable it's like driving on clouds and this is something that i do like but nothing comes nope let's go the funny thing about it is that when you push the gas pedal it doesn't actually <laughs> feel heavy and this is brilliant this is literally something brilliant you have a huge car and it feels very nimble the engine is very powerful and it delivers the amount of power exactly as much as you need to travel anywhere this three liter diesel engine is very economical it's very quiet and you get a good fuel consumption as well being euro 6 it means that you can travel to london you can travel anywhere with it and uh, not pay 
taxes, at least not yet. Uh, excuse me one second, I have to put my glasses on because, um, well, uh, it's very sunny outside. Regarding how well this car is built, I, I cannot find any flaws, honestly. I went with it on countryside roads, on bad roads, on uh, roads without tarmac, and I cannot find fault with it. I do love this Mercedes, even though it's gonna be a hell of a problem to maintain it, because I'm quite sure that nothing is cheap on this car. In fact, maintenance is gonna be very costly. But, well, if you have the money to buy a Mercedes S-Class, I don't think you're gonna be worried about maintenance and costs. Everything in this car is beautifully designed, everything is beautifully stitched in leather, everything feels top quality. Regarding suspension, this air suspension is very comfortable. It's literally like driving on clouds. You cannot hear literally almost, you cannot hear almost any tire noise on this car. The, the isolation is almost perfect. This car doesn't have double glazed windows, but I'm sure that if it would have double glazed windows, literally you couldn't hear anything. You hear a minimum amount of noise from the outside, but just a minimum. That is before you turn on the radio or the uh, Bluetooth uh, media or the music on your phone. Anyways, you know what I'm saying. The comfort is brilliant. The taxes are gonna be high because, well, you have a luxurious sedan. You cannot get better than this at this price range. You can get the 7 Series, the Audi A8, and the Lexus uh, LS. But um, something about this car actually made me think of buying one. Because I drove the 7 Series, the G02, I drove the Audi A8. Those cars are literally same generations with this one. I have to mention that the BMW from uh, 2018 the G01 and the G02 have a little bit more gadgets on it but also this one has gadgets on it if you get the facelift version then you're gonna get the digital uh, screen you're gonna get a lot more features and uh, a, ref a better and more modern design the tail lights and the headlights it's been refreshed a bit but not that much that you would rather buy that one instead of this one. This one has 55,000 miles and it's literally like new. No scratches, everything is perfect, seats are very, very comfortable. And the only drawback of this car is that it's missing those features and you have these blank buttons over here. But if you can pass that, well, <laughs> this car drives like a dream. So anyways, that was the video for today. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. Press a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done this already. And I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, all the best to you. And yes, I'm going to enjoy this S-Class a little bit more today.